In the latest patch, Viking Funeral was nerfed for PvP purposes as it was incredibly annoying to fight against. However, with this change came some potential PvE benefits, where Viking Funeral now provides a 5% damage bonus, stacking up to 3 times while things are burning via your grenades. However, grenades only gain burning effects with Touch of Flame, so otherwise the only thing that is going to burn people is your melee. So how worth it are those benefits? Let's find out. First off, let's check out the stacking capabilities with other debuffs. Melting Point and Shadow Shot do not stack with each other, so I initially thought that since Viking Funeral is a burning effect, as is Melting Point, that they would not stack, and lo and behold, they actually do stack. Melting Point and Viking Funeral stack with each other, as well as Shadow Shot and Viking Funeral stacking with each other, so that was a surprise to me. Now let's check out the stacking capabilities of Viking Funeral itself. Obviously the first thing to try is Radiance Grenade Spam and that's what I did. I brought in a friend to spam a bunch of grenades at an enemy. We tried Solar Grenades first and we only got it to stack twice, then Fire Bolts and once again only got two stacks. Then we tried adding in a melee attack in between grenades and that's what did the trick to get it to stack to 15% bonus damage, aka 3 stacks. I then tried doing it solo and went really up close to the enemy to throw grenades and was able to get a 3 stack to happen, but it only lasted fractions of a second. That's how much range plays a factor into this. If you're too far away, you simply can't hit the enemy quick enough for it to stack up to 3 with only grenades. If you aren't in Radiance, you're going to need double grenades or double melee to get it to stack to three times, and that's going to be you using all of your abilities as fast as possible. That means you're going to need Sunbreakers or Starfire Protocol or Claws of Ahamkara to get a three stack. No, you cannot use Gift of the Sun because then you have no Touch of Flame, which enables burning grenades. One minor thing, interesting to me, is that the buff technically doesn't scale itself from 5 to 10 to 15, but rather takes whatever your damage is and continues to boost it by another 5%. For example, my 259 damage on the scout rifle multiplied by 15% is only 298 compared to the 300 shown in game. It's a 5% boost, followed by a 5% boost on whatever damage you're doing with that first boost, followed by another 5% following the same rules, as opposed to adding 5%, then 10%, then 15% of your gun's raw, unaffected damage. One important thing to note is that with something like Solar Grenade, it does not matter how long the enemy is standing in the grenade. The burn effect lasts as long as every other grenade and only triggers on the initial hit. Enemies will continue to take damage over time while in the grenade, but that is due to the grenade itself. The ticks of damage the enemy suffers while within the radius of a solar grenade does not reapply the burning effect. Only a new grenade will reignite the enemy. So no, unfortunately you cannot get a 5% bonus damage increase for a long time by throwing one solar grenade at an enemy. Alright, so we have a bunch of facts, time for some theory crafting. Let's say you're able to fire 10 black spindle shots in 10 seconds, its rate of fire is 60 RPM, and you and your team are 100% perfect with your headshots. Let's say, for theory crafting purposes, that each one of those shots deals 20,000 damage. So that's 200,000 damage per person in 10 seconds times 6 players is 1.2 million damage in 10 seconds. Pretty good. Now we're going to remove 200,000 damage and replace it with Viking Funeral Grenade Spam for the rest of your team. It takes about 1.5 seconds to throw enough grenades to get Viking Funeral to stack to 2 since we know we aren't getting to 3 stacks. So the first shot from everyone will deal 21,000 damage then we'll say the rest deal 22,000 damage. Once again this is assuming that you are all perfect. That is 219,000 damage per person times 5, which is 1.095 million damage. So we're about 105,000 damage short of that original 1.2 million. However, this does not account for the grenade damage either, which can tick pretty high. Is it high enough to cover that 100,000 damage loss? It might be possible, but even then you're just breaking even. You're not actually contributing more than you normally would. 
Basically, if you are absolutely perfect with your team, in theory, in certain situations, Viking Funeral Grenade Spam can provide approximately the same amount of damage as my example, which is maybe something you would see in the raid. The problem is that if you are anything less than perfect, it'll end up being a net loss of potential damage. The problem is also that there are so few situations in the game where you can fully optimize you and your team to really take advantage of Viking Funeral Spam. I even did tests to see if Viking Funeral Spam actually stacked to 3 easily, if that would be a damage increase, and while it technically was, it really wasn't enough to make it worth it. That theorycraft also relies on perfect play in order to optimize, with anything less being, at best, a break-even point, and at worst, a damage loss. Do not take this the wrong way though. Viking Funeral and Touch of Flame in PvE was never really that good to begin with, and overall is either a wash or a net gain over the previous iteration of the build in PvE. Ultimately, the changes were based on PvP issues as it was very obnoxious to play against. What this did for PvP was tone down the individual power of a, let's say, Firebolt Grenade, but still holds a decent amount of its power while in Radiance. The loss of burn damage is made up in bonus damage taken while burning, which is supposed to reward multiple grenade hits in a row, which it technically does. Keep in mind that as of the recording of this video, June 27th, there is currently a bug that is preventing burning damage from dealing its intended amount of damage, and that there is hopefully a fix coming soon, so I assume once that is fixed, you might see a few more Sunsingers in PvP again. I think increasing the damage boost in PvE to something like 8, 16, 24% would be a good buff for it, maybe even something like 10, 20, 30%. This way, Sunsingers would be able to play that utility role, like a Sunbreaker Titan or a Night Stalker Hunter, if they wanted to, instead of it just being a wash in terms of bonus damage. Anyway guys, that is what I have for you on the new Viking Funeral and what it actually does and does not do. If you enjoyed this video, a positive rating would be appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.